everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of 2019. That feels so weird to say that. So happy new year. I hope you all had amazing Christmases and New Year's and ate and drank so much till you couldn't move. Over the Christmas holidays, I've had quite a few requests and questions about how to stay looking really stylish while still being really cozy and really warm. So today's video is gonna be all about that, as well as showing you all the new pieces that I've recently got in my wardrobe. Before we get started, if you are new, then I would love it if you would subscribe down below to my channel. I'm doing a video every other week at the minute, but fingers crossed it will be a video every week really soon. So stay tuned for that. So without any more rambling, introducing outfit number one. Every change has a reason. Baby, let it come to you. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo. If we stop believing, we're meant to be expanding our abilities. If the passion's gone, we are doing it. So, this is outfit number one, and I've put on a bit of a matching co-ord, which I'm obsessed with at the minute. I really didn't like them at first, but then I've seen quite a few people in them who I think, hmm, I really like it, and I thought I might just be able to get away with it. So I've given it a go, and I really like it. It's this matching knitted pencil skirt with the matching jumper, both from River Island, and they've got these gold buttons going down the side and then this really big slit in the skirt which is so good because it means you can walk like normal and you're not restricted so that is a bonus both the skirt and the jumper are obviously knitted so it's super super warm the jumper is really quite oversized so i love that it gives it this baggy comfortable relaxed feel i've tucked it in at the front and then just left it out at the back so it's really really relaxed I've then added my new coat from Roost that I got in the sale, which is so, so nice. It's got really deep pockets and it's made from real wool, so it's super, super warm. And then I've just paired it with a pop of leopard print as the rest of the outfit is quite neutral, quite plain. So the bag just really adds a bit of a fun element to it. And then for shoes, if you can see them there, I've put on beige ankle boots from Topshop and they're really quite cool. From the front they just look quite normal, a bit boring maybe. And then with the heel they've got this silver ball in the heel and a bit of a funny shaped heel. So that's really cool, it looks really fun and it's something a bit different. If you wanted to be even warmer then you could pair this with over the knee boots and then obviously underneath you can have really long socks to be covering your legs or you could pair it with tights and black boots, whatever is your style. So this is outfit number one for being really stylish but staying really warm. trousers and then a really wild pun intended fun zebra print oversized jumper and this one is from Topshop I literally got it the other day and I am obsessed I wouldn't usually go for anything this crazy but with the animal print trend which has just rocketed 
I really really loved it and I couldn't resist. I love the high neck on it and it is so soft and warm. It's really quite chunky and again it's quite a relaxed oversized fit so it just makes it really really chilled and then paired with a classic pair of white trousers again it just smartens it up just a little bit and then I've just popped a pair of classic Reese mules with them which tend to just go with everything. I've then added my new Reese bag that I got at Christmas in this coral shade which again like the last bag it just brings the outfit to life and it adds a pop of colour which just makes it really fun. I've not added a coat with this because of how thick this jumper is and at the minute I'm absolutely boiling in it. I'm like Phew hot so this is already keeping me really warm and yes i'm inside but i know it's just going to keep me really warm outside as well i'd also wear a thermal underneath it but if i did wear a coat i would just bring on this beigey tan one again really neutral which would just go instantly with the look i just think this is a really chic but really fun outfit and i think the animal print trend isn't going anywhere so i think you can expect to wear this for quite a while can you feel it something is behind the clouds we just have to believe it number three not that i'm keeping count again this outfit revolves around one statement piece and again it's an animal print this time snake print this is a satin snake print skirt which everyone is going wild for at the veneer snake print and satin the high street is just going crazy with both these trends everyone cannot get enough of them i absolutely love them the material is just so nice it's really flattering and the snake print is just not only on trend but it's very chic this skirt is from river island and i believe it was something like 32 pound so again really affordable again i've gone for a really chilled relaxed outfit a baggy oversized jumper this jumper is actually supposed to be a little bit backier but i've just got it out the wash and i think i might have shrunk it a tiny bit so i'm like pulling the sleeves just to stretch it i hate when that happens so this jumper should be a bit baggier but it's still giving that very relaxed chilled vibe and then the skirt is obviously quite fitted so it's balancing out the silhouettes of each product i've popped with it my new lk bennett boots which i'm absolutely obsessed with but they are the perfect color so i couldn't recommend them enough they are this taupey neutral color and they're quite slouchy but not too slouchy and they come just below the knee so they are my perfect boot and i think they go perfectly with this outfit with this outfit if you wanted to be even warmer you could be i would pop tights underneath the skirt because no one is going to see them or thermal tights thermal leggings no one will know so that is a very big top tip and then also you can put fluffy socks under your boots no one's going to see them and obviously a thermal underneath so it's all about layering and it's about choosing pieces that you can still wear underneath but you're not going to see them because of the pieces you've chosen on top if that makes sense
number four. So this outfit is more of an outfit for when you want to stay warm but you're going to work, you're going to a place where you need to be a bit more smarter dressed. You can't really wear any chunky knitwear. It needs to be on point, smart, looking good, chic. This is exactly what this outfit does. So I've put in another satin skirt, which again, we're going crazy for at the minute, especially Topshop. They have got these in so many colors. So if you kind of think, oh yeah, I like that outfit, but it's not really my color palette, then head to Topshop because they've got so many different colors, so many different neutrals, so many bold colors. They've got red, they've got orange, they've got tiger prints, they've got leopard prints, they've got pink stripes, spots, everything you can think of, they've got it. To keep it smart and chic, I've paired it with a cream blouse from Reese, which I recently got in the sale, so I will link that down below, as this one was a bit of a bargain. It's got sheer sleeves, but again, longer sleeves, so it's keeping you covered for maximum warmth. This top does allow you to wear another little vest top or thermal vest underneath. As these colours are fairly similar, I've decided to pair the skirt and the top with a tan coat because in comparison to these colours the coat is quite a statement and quite bold. This coat is from River Island and it is really really good quality while still being really affordable. I think it was like £85 which is really good for how good the material is. It's really nice wool, it's thick, it's got really nice tortoiseshell buttons so the details of the coat isn't letting it down so it still looks really expensive and really chic without actually having to be. The coat is really really long so it's keeping you as warm as possible so that's a bonus point and I've also paired it with my Ted Baker ankle boots which I got at Christmas as they are a similar kind of nude to the coat and they just kind of go really well. I then chose my Bradley pinky neutral bag as again it just looks really chic really expensive it's all in the same color palette and it keeps the whole look really smart plus if I'm wearing this outfit for work this bag is really handy because it's actually got room to put stuff in which is what I need so practical and looks good Saturday brunching outfit. You've got your party on the bottom and your coziness on the top with a little bit of party with the shoulders showing. I love this skirt. I got it at Christmas and it's from Next. Can you spot a theme with the satin skirts, which I'm kind of obsessed with? They just do such a great job of keeping you on trend, looking really stylish, but because you can wear the over the knee boot, you can wear the tights underneath which no one ever knows, they still keep you really, really warm. This is a classic leopard print, which everyone loves. I love how flowy and feminine the skirt is. It's just really girly, but quite chic, a little bit edgy with the colors and the print. The satin looks really expensive as well, which is what you want it to do, even though I think it was 35 pound. I then paired it with this really cozy knit. And you might say, cozy, really? You've got your shoulders out, but I'm absolutely boiling. It is so thick and if you can see, so, so soft and so fuzzy, it's just really, really cozy. I love that it's bardo, it's really chic, a little bit girly and also a little bit playful as it's showing some flesh, especially during winter, which we don't often do. This is just the perfect, like I said, weekend brunching outfit. It's just really feminine, but really, really warm, as you can see why. I've paired with it, again, my Coralie pinky bag, as it just kind of makes this nude of the jumper pop, as it's a bit more statement. 
and it really offsets the leopard print really nicely. And you still look really dressed up, but while still being cozy, warm, relaxed, comfortable, which is the main thing for a weekend outfit. last one now we've gone from work casual sparta and now we're going for your typical really relaxed sunday i want to be super warm outfit and this outfit needs no explanation to why it's super warm i mean just look at the pink coat i feel like a marshmallow all wrapped up but it's so so nice this coat is another one i got for christmas it's from top shop and i will link it down below as i think it's now gone into sale it's so so soft i literally just want to keep stroking it all day long it's so nice it's so statement the pink is so bold it's really colorful it's beautiful i've just popped a really classic white knit underneath that because really if you're wearing this coat your outfit underneath doesn't need anything extra a pair of classic beige leggings from h&m which you always ask me about but i got a couple of years ago now so i will try find something similar and link them down below and then i've paired them with my top shop ankle boots that i recently got in the sale i mean if you were going somewhere a bit more casual on a Sunday you would probably wear them with flat over the knee boots or just flat ankle boots in general but if you're going out for dinner or full of lunch and you wanted a heel these would be perfect I'm absolutely boiling stood here wearing this coat so I have no doubt that it's going to keep me warm underneath if you wanted to wear a thicker knit underneath you could as there's still quite a bit of room and I'm not restricted in any way so you could wear a chunky knit this is just a really casual way to look stylish on trend whilst being really really cosy and super warm oh and I forgot to say that i've added this leopard print bag because there is no print in this outfit whatsoever the coat is obviously very statement but it's all one color so i think the leopard print helps to break it up and it also adds a bit more of a chic feel to the overall outfit this bag is from zara and i think it was 25 pound so i will link that down below and yeah this whole look is really really warm so there we have it, six outfits that are super stylish but are guaranteed to keep you really, really warm. Everything that I've worn today will be linked in the description box down below, so head there if you fancy anything for yourself. Everything should be online and in the store now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helps you for when it's just really grey and cold outside and you just have no idea what to wear. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below to keep up with future videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.